Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little get ready with me. I'm going to do my makeup and my hair. Um, but first I'm going to start off with my makeup. I also thought I would dedicate this like get ready with me. Talking about like body confidence, body positivity. What I've done to like love myself. Like self growth, self love. All of the positive stuff. Um, as I feel like I've really progressed in that sort of area within myself this year. And I just want to sort of like share my experience and my tips in hope for, in hope to inspire maybe some of you guys to feel a little bit more better in your body, in yourselves, um, because I'm just like really passionate about it. Now that I've like finally got to grips with it in myself, I feel like I can like share all the self love and hopefully encourage others to feel the same way. So I'm gonna start off with moisturizing and like prepping my face with the Kiko Milano Hydro Pro Glow. This is my absolute favorite and um, a lot of you will probably know. Um, I've literally been using this for years now. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put that on my face. I thought I would first talk about an Instagram hashtag that I created a couple of months ago. So I think it was while I was in Bali actually. Yeah, I think it was when I was out in Bali. Um, I sort of had like a little revelation, like I started to think about how this was the first proper holiday. Well, this year have been like the first proper holidays where I've actually felt super comfortable in a bikini. Like I don't care about what anyone's thinking. I'm not self-conscious about any part of my body. Like I literally am just like, take on my clothes, walk around in my bikini. If I get stared at, fair enough. Like if people want to judge me, fair enough. Um, and I've not really give a shit. So that sort of like brought like an idea to my head that I wanted to create like a hashtag on Instagram called Body Posi Pals. A lot of people have been using it so far. So I'm going to put some photos here of people using the hashtag, shouting out all these wonderful people who have uploaded photos they may not have been confident enough to upload before or just sort of like self love. I just want to shout out these amazing people for using the hashtag and feeling more confident in themselves. I just think it's an amazing thing uploading photos of yourself and feeling happy in the way you look and feel. So yeah, big shout out to all of these girls that have used my hashtag so far. Um, if you ever want to use the hashtag, I share um people's photos on my stories on instagram quite a lot every now and again um i'll pop on some photos of people who are inspiring others and just being overall great so yeah i did create that hashtag because i started to feel like really confident in the way i was acting so i think i'm gonna go for a light coverage today quite enjoying how nice my skin is looking at the minute so i don't need like too much coverage so i'm using the lumine invisible illumination Insta Glow Fresh Skin Tint. This is what it looks like in a little glass tub. It's amazing. I have started loving my body for the way it is. I think it has stemmed from becoming so much more independent in myself and confident at university. And I know I'm not saying you have to go to university to become confident in yourself, but I definitely feel like being surrounded by like amazing women who also have the same sort of opinions and um, things as me has helped quite a lot. And it has shaped me and also doing stuff online has also helped shape me and being a more confident person in myself. I think one of my favourite quotes at the minute that I mentioned in an interview that I did recently with the teen magazine is that um, you shouldn't take criticism from anyone you wouldn't take advice from. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I had lots of negativity surrounding my body, my face, my the way I talk why I was doing it like why I was creating videos like it's embarrassing and things like that I had so much criticism on my videos and I used to let it get to me get me down I stopped uploading like I'd private my videos every time I'd go into school every time I'd go to work or anything like I was just so insecure in myself and that was because I let people irrelevant people get to me and if you just sit down and think if you're not going to take advice from these people who are talking about you spending their time spending their precious time on earth chatting shit about you then you shouldn't you shouldn't let them affect how you're feeling and i know that's easier said than done like it's taken me years and years of um practicing that i guess but honestly you just have to take a step back and just think this opinion is so irrelevant this person you just have to feel sorry for the people who are acting this way feel the need to comment on your looks behind a computer screen like they would never come up to your face and say it. and even if they did they're just nasty people who have got way too much time on their hands need to work on themselves um and because they 
don't have the confidence to work on themselves they're instead trying to affect your confidence so yeah these people are not worth your time not worth your energy not worth changing your mood over and you just have to sort of train yourself into thinking that like if it, my friend was someone who was saying something about me then obviously I, you can be upset because you thought they were your friend you would take advice from them you know but these people are all strangers or mostly strangers or just people who don't like you and not everyone's going to like you and that's something else that I've started to like not I've obviously known that not everyone's going to like you for years but like something that I've definitely realized this year that not everyone's going to like you um and that's fine because I don't like everyone uh, there are things and people that I don't like so of course people aren't going to like things about me so right so next i'm just going to go in with my brow products i was i'm using the anastasia dip brow pomade and the anastasia um eyebrow brush in the shade chocolate um and i'm just going to fill in my brows i've currently got lash extensions on at the minute which is why my eyes might look a little bit fluttery and wispy but it'll all come together when i've actually done my makeup oh yeah next thing i wanted to cover was like social media and like toxic account so something that has become really apparent this year is the amount of people um who i used to love some people that i didn't know about and just things like that just sort of it's become more apparent to me that everyone is using airbrushing tools and using all of these editing apps that changes the way your body looks and i just disagree with it so much i've had to unfollow so many people on social media that i used to adore um, because they're changing the way they look and I think it is so unfair I know people have clearly confidence you must have confidence issues if you're changing your body in photos which is obviously no one's fault because these issues have come about from several things like things that I probably don't know about from other people and then also online like the media um, which has made them so insecure that they have edited their body which I'm not blaming them for at all I just think that people need to be careful especially if they've got a huge audience especially when their audience is children or like young teenagers it is sad to see that they're editing their body to people who are vulnerable have no idea that these face editing apps exist that you can change your body in this way like because these apps are really scary like I've spoken to people who have seen their friends editing their bodies on their face right in front of their eyes and thinking it's a normal thing and it's so sad that people feel the need to change the way they look to impress other people when you should be just embracing who you are like we're all different people at the end of the day and that is something that should be praised and we shouldn't be like trying to look like anyone else like you can appreciate someone else's beauty without wanting to look like them and I think that's such an important message like I follow so many gorgeous accounts I'm not, no longer affected by the way someone else's body is and comparing it to myself if you know what I mean I just appreciate while wow, they've got a lovely body they've worked for it or they're embracing their curves they're embracing their stretch marks their cellulite their scars whatever it is um, and I can appreciate that without um questioning myself and second guessing myself if you know what I mean so if you are starting out on this like little journey to becoming more self-confident self-positive um and confident in your body then i suggest following accounts that don't make you feel like shit at first i was like oh that's so hard because i used to love some of these creators that i looked up to um but i just thought seriously no like it's just to follow like get it out of my life because it is a, it was a it can affect the way people think and you perceive things so you need to stop start unfollowing people who you don't agree with you don't agree with their messages i can't support that behavior i can't support someone who is editing the way they look and warping young girls brains like and young boys as well i just i just can't condone it so i've had someone follow all of those people which i am gutted about but in reality i have to practice what i preach you know so i've had someone follow a lot of accounts that have been doing that i'm gonna leave loads of like influencers or creators that i personally find inspiring self-motivating just lovely like empowering photos and just like a joy to watch on instagram like especially like chatty stories and things like that i'm just going to leave like a ton down below so you can go check them out lucy wood was kind enough to um mention me in her mid-size influencer shout out video a couple of months ago 
yeah, a couple of months ago, it was in September when I was in Bali, she released a video shouting out loads of mid-sized influencers and she actually mentioned me in the video, which was so kind of her. And I look up to someone like Lucy Wood who is also doing similar things in the industry as to what I want to do and what I'm doing. So um, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do a little shout out of all the people, including Lucy Wood, who I love on Instagram and think they are very positive to be following and something that is very, very good for the current generation and the upcoming generations. So yeah, I'm gonna leave them all down below because there are so many and I don't wanna think off the top of my head and forget anyone, I just wanna mention them all down below. And that's sort of the next thing I wanted to cover and something else that's definitely helped me in shaping the way I'm thinking about myself and my body. Just make sure you're following accounts that are promoting imperfections because everyone has imperfections but it isn't a bad thing like imperfection isn't a bad thing we shouldn't be striving to be perfect because no one's body is perfect lots of people have surgery or edit their photos in order to create a perfect photo and personally i just don't i just don't think that is the right message to portray if you get surgery because you feel like you'll be more confident like I get lash extensions because it makes my eyelash eyes more like wider and I just prefer having lash extensions then do it like if that's what surgery is going to do for you then go for it if it's going to make you feel good but don't do it for anyone else because I know so many people who have regretted getting like surgery fillers botox or whatever just because other people sort of insinuated that they didn't have big lips or a fat stomach and they got lipo like do you know what i mean there's so many people who regret it so only do something if it's going to make you happy because you are the number one priority and you shouldn't let anyone else's opinions on you make you want to change yourself right so i'm going to quickly bronze with benefits hula bronzer it's my absolute fave and i'm using the tar um, contour brush um just popping that for a little bit of warmth on my cheeks and on my temples. I literally just like shove this on everywhere because I love it so much. It's such like a nice warm toned brown, especially for winter. Very nice and very cute. Let me know, put anyone in the comments down below who you think is inspiring online for women, for people who are insecure in their bodies, who promote a lot of body confidence and body self love, you know, um, I'd love to check out more people and find more people um, to have on my Instagram feed because them posts make me like super, super happy. I'm just gonna set my brows with the collection. It's really dirty because I'm gross. I'm using the collection clear mascara that is no longer clear and I use it to brush through my brows um, to set them into place. I'm doing my makeup in the weirdest order today. Like I don't usually do it in this order. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighter using the Rach Loves Pixie highlighting palette. It's actually stunning. It's called the Layers um, Glow On highlighting palette. And I'm going to use Clutch um, to pop on my brow bone. On my brow bone? On my cheekbones. <laughs> Look at that. I've like barely put any on. And then I'm going to use a... Um, brush from Lily England to pop on lace which is this shade up here sort of like a pearlescent champagne colour and I'm going to use that and pop it in my inner corner um, to sort of brighten my eyes further very very shiny I don't think I'm going to go for eyeshadow at the minute just because I want to keep my lashes as clean as possible and then I'm going to use the Pixi Mariam liquid lipstick in the shade posh nude and then i'm going to use the pixi collaboration with chloe morello and use their lip icing in the shade parfait this is my favorite lip combo if you follow me on instagram you'll know this is like my go-to thing at the minute i absolutely love it so i'm just going to pop these on and then we'll get on to hair i'm just going to set my face with the urban decay all night setting spray this is their summer solstice limited edition one but i just use their normal one every single day This honestly stops my makeup slipping off all day. Like, I can't even recommend this setting spray enough. I use it every single day without a doubt, no matter how much little or how much makeup I'm putting on. It just stops it from, like, falling off my face throughout the day or, like, sweating off, like, literally whatever. So I highly recommend. This is literally incredible. It's, like, loads of little, like, glitter particles and it. it makes your lips, like, iridescent. I'm loving gloss at the minute, um, laid over, like, a liquid lipstick. I just find it so much more like hydrating and nourishing on the lips than like a matte lipstick. So beautiful. 
there we go that's my makeup all done um i'm now going to move on to my hair this is so exciting so irresistible me have sent over their incredible moonstone curler i'm going to leave links down below in case anyone wants to check them out and i think i might have a discount code as well so if you do want to check the check these out or buy one for yourself after watching this video then you can definitely go check them out down below um but yeah i'm going to use these to curl my hair and honestly i've been wanting these for ages like i love the idea of like my hair being all curled up i'm so lazy when it comes to hair and i literally hate the idea of sitting there for ages and curling my hair this literally does it all for you so it's like a steam curler it like basically zaps your hair into the little machine and it just curls it without you having to make any of the effort so it's literally ideal um yeah this is what it looks like it's beautiful it's this gorgeous blue color um and i'm gonna just take my hair down sort it out and let's get cracking Mm -hmm. right so there are like so many different settings on this which i figured out the other day it's it, it literally insane there's like um an rl button here so you can decide whether you want the curl to be like clockwise or anti-clockwise essentially it's like so cool it i didn't realize it had so many different like um settings on it and i've just been like sort of playing around with it the past couple of days and i've just been really enjoying it so i'm really excited to show you how the curls turn out i usually do my whole head head of hair usually curl my whole hair let it sit for a bit and then i use a comb and like brush the curls out so they're a lot more like beachy rather than like ring curls if you know what i mean and then i whack in some hair oil i'm gonna show you this it's not hair oil it's a serum um it's the john frieda frizzies per perfect finish polishing serum it is insane if you're looking for something for frizzy hair or just like taming flyaways and things this is the number one product for it it's amazing i need to buy a new one soon because this is going to run out any second so you sort of like place the um curler up here towards the top of your head and then it sucks all your hair in there we go as you can't tell how good look little curly so if you can't see what i'm doing very well i'm literally just like flipping all the curls to the back of my hair when i've done them just so then i can have all the hair that i need to curl i've currently got it on the 12 second setting i've got the like longest one so that the curls go really long so that goes in and then you wait 12 seconds and then it beeps again so it's all very like tells you to do that and then it stops beeping when you undo it and then the curl drops out so it's like quite like ringlety I So I've done my right side of my hair uh, and I'm just gonna move on to my left off camera and then I'll get back to you. Right, so I've just finished curling my hair. I'm just brushing through um, so that the curl's like bouncier, if you can see what I mean. Like they're a lot more like low key. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said, let me know if there are any body positive influencers or creators that you really enjoy following on instagram or on social media or anything leave them down below let me know what your favorite makeup product is at the minute and yeah i will see you in my next video bye